Hey, everybody, it's that house guy, Nathan Graham, with that house group and EXP Realty. Listen, I just wanted to do a quick uh, middle of the week update um, because some crazy things happened on July 31st. I know this is February 2nd, but I wanted a few days to process and see how a few things came out. So, listen, uh, let's dive right into it. Um, you probably may have seen this article Mississauga House sells for just under 1 million after 85 offers. I wanted to quickly talk about this because there is some good and some bad in this article, uh, on depending on what side you are on, what side of the fence you're on. Okay, so let's talk about it. Um, Three-bedroom home in Mississauga sold for just under $1 million after receiving 85 offers. The list price was $749.9. That is what it sold for in 2017. So right out the gate, we knew it was already underlisted because the market has went up dramatically since uh, 2017. The property got 85 offers. Now, a couple key things here is the realtor was expecting a sale price of 930. That's where he would have put the actual value of the property. And that's going to be a key part to this video. And they knew that it wasn't worth 750. So the realtor knew listing it at 749.9 was designed to attract attention. And it did. It got over 300 showings. And the vast majority of offers, he figured roughly 80% of the offers weren't even in the running. Like they, they couldn't even go up to even come close to winning this property. Okay. So as I said, there is some good and some bad and some conversation around this that we're going to have. And we're just going to do this very quickly. So first and foremost, the bad part is the market is heating up. If you are on the fence about buying, don't wait. It will not be long before this semi-detached home is way out of reach. Like a million dollars for a semi-detached home is already crazy, let alone way out of reach. So if you have the potential for a down payment, if you have the potential to buy, even if you need to go to the outskirts of the, the horseshoe or outskirts of the GTA, start looking at those options. In a previous video, I mentioned in Oshawa, a home got 31 offers, very similarly was underlisted. So... On the buy side, get ready. If you are waiting for things to crash even more, it's probably not going to happen this year or next. So just for that heads up. The good. Believe it or not, there is some good in this, though. First and foremost, the strategy this realtor used, it... 80, again, 80% 80 of the offers weren't good. And it really... I would have actually expected after 85 offers to, for this to sell way over a million. So... It, it was a lot of leaving the house. It was a lot of, uh, I'm going to say stress, but it's probably the wrong term on the sellers to basically get 70,000 more than what they were expecting. So they were expecting 930, um, let's call it nine to 930. And they got a million. So that's seven to 10% over market value. I would have expected this to be a lot crazier. So the good news is, and, and as I go back to the stats, by the way, because everything is stats driven, this isn't opinion, it's just stats driven. As I go back to the stats, prices are increasing, yet they're not increasing by these massive spikes that we were seeing over the last few years. And this kind of proves it. 85 offers only selling 70,000 more than what you're expecting. In 2022 and 2017, we were getting like 150 to 200,000 more than what we were expecting. So uh, as it heats up and as these things are beginning to happen, it's it's not cr that crazy yet. There's a lot of room for it to get crazier. Let, I, let's just put it that way. So you haven't missed the boat. As a buyer, you haven't missed the boat on this. As a seller, this is kind of, kind of a part of anticipation and excitement that we know this market is beginning to come back. And if you're a little bit underwater or you're, you're struggling with your payments, we may have an opportunity as this market heats up to help free up some of that, of, of that life and help take control of some of that. So... Again, good and bad news of this. The strategy, I have a feeling that some people are going to love the strategy. Some people are going to hate the strategy in the end. This is what the sellers chose based off of, I'm guessing, off the realtor's advice. And the strategy may not work for everybody. And I don't think you need to employ the strategy to get these numbers to go that low. Uh, I don't fault the strategy, though, because in the end, it's the, the realtor who listed the property works for the seller. And it's his job uh, or her job to maximize the most for the seller. But have a conversation about the strategy you want to use when you list because there's different strategies that work differently. It's not a one size fits all. 
Um, so anyways, this is quick video. Enjoy your guys' weekend. Uh, please, if you have need a conversation around this, reach out to myself, reach out to your realtor. Let's have a conversation if, if this is concerning to you, if you are thinking about buying and you want to figure out how to beat this. Chat soon.